Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Chad and within the team at Comp Now, I take care of all of our education partners. Now we've been building the AV team within Comp Now for nearly four years now, really heavily focused on more the engineering and design side of the industry. We're just really keen to be able to support all of our existing customers with the latest innovations. Today, we're here to talk about the Z-Touch interactive panel. Now, for years we'd worked, I guess, with all of the, all of the names you probably all heard within the touchscreen space. We kept trying to change their product and asking for a few feature changes, a few things to be added, and it wasn't really happening. So we decided we're probably gonna be a little bit better just going to market with our own panel. So, worked with some partners over in China and have come down with a really simple board. So we focused completely on three features. We wanted simplicity, really, really keen on speed and customization. So we built a product and you'll, you'll see in the demonstration shortly, focuses really heavily on those three things, gets rid of most of the, I guess the additional operating system softwares, anything that clogged the system up and impacted those three key factors. Come in a 65, 75, 86 currently, very close to releasing the 98 inch panel, which we'll probably have out, I guess, towards the end of this year, maybe first thing next year. Now, outside of this traditional space, please feel free to use the chat. This is a very Z-Touch focused conversation, but in the background, we've got some gentlemen keeping an eye on the, the questions. Ask whatever questions you like around that traditional AV space. So we're more than competent, more than comfortable talking about anything like signage, video and voice, things like your Zoom and Teams conversations, support services, control, anything of that nature. Now, what I'll do is hand over to Jackson. He'll be able to give you a quick run through on the Z-Touch, explain all the basic features. And again, please, we want to try and keep it as interactive as we can, shoot your questions through, and we'll continue to answer them post the demonstration. Jackson? Thanks, Chad. So right here in front of me, I have a 75-inch Z-Touch. I'm going to go through some of the software on the panel as well as some of the physical components as well. So before I begin with the software, the panel itself physically has a 4mm etched tough glass screen. This is not only anti-glare, but extremely tough and durable. So it can be basically, uh, it'll handle anything that's thrown at it um, physically, which hopefully doesn't happen. But uh, as you can see there, quite tough. The board itself comes with a wall mount in the box included, so that is uh, something you don't have to worry about purchasing separately, as well as a five-year on-site deinstall and reinstall warranty. What this means is if by chance there is something that happens with one of your panels, we can have a team come out and take that panel down and either repair it or replace it if need be and have it all up and running again for you on-site. The software on the board, I'm gonna work from left to right. Um, the source option at the start here I won't go into, it's basically just where you pick your sources of what HDMI input or whatever you're going to use on the panel. Next along here we have the whiteboarding application. So the whiteboard here is quite feature packed and I'll go through just a couple of the features to give you an overview of how that looks. The board comes with a pair of these styluses which have a thin and thick end on them and these styles has allow you to run two different colors simultaneously on the board. So for example, I could have a black and I could have a red and with each end of the pen, by turning the pen around backwards, you can see I can switch colors like that. Erasing content from the board can be done using the side of your hand. So kind of like a traditional whiteboard where you can just wipe across the screen and you can see there I'm able to delete that content without any problems at all, just using my hand. The whiteboard background can be changed, so there's a host of colors available which you can pick from, as well as being able to import your own custom backgrounds as well. So for example, right now I've got a handwriting background up on the screen. I'll just jump back to the center one there again. The whiteboarding application also has the ability to handle gestures and multi-touch drawing. So what this basically means is if I have the multi-touch drawing mode turned on, I can draw with more than one input at a time. So for example, right now I can drag my hand across the screen and you can see I get five lines simultaneously. The Z-Touch panels can handle up to 15 points of touch at once, so you can have 15 points of um, touch on screen drawing at the same time. I'll just erase that. The alternate mode we've got is the gesture mode where I can use gestures to interact with the whiteboard itself. So for example, I'll just draw a simple little smiley face here on screen for example 
And what you can see I can do in gesture mode is I can actually pinch in and out to zoom in and out with that content with two fingers and with three fingers I can actually move the canvas around on the screen. So this is an infinite canvas, you're not limited by the physical real estate of the screen, um, hence being able to zoom out and scroll around on screen to view that content. You of course can also draw with your fingers, you don't have to use the stylus, so I can for example draw on screen with my hand there like that to get content up. Um, moving through, there are options for importing images, there's options for importing shapes on the screen as well in the whiteboard and one of the features that I think is a standout is the split screen writing. So this allows you to have the whiteboard split into two or three independent sections like so and this allows us to have a side-by-side -side whiteboard experience. So for example you could have content over here and over here and you can actually erase all the content from one part of the screen without affecting the other half of the screen. So fantastic in a scenario, in a, say a classroom for example, where you have uh, like a, an equation and the working side by side. Just jumping back out of that split screen writing and back into the standard whiteboarding app, um, the other buttons on the bottom here we've got are a lasso tool, so I can of course lasso content to delete it and duplicate it an undo and a redo and then a trash button down the bottom there to erase the entire screen. Down the very bottom right hand corner here behind me I've got the option to add pages so I can have multiple pages of whiteboarding at once to be able to move through different full screen pages of content. And then finally down the very bottom left corner of the screen we have our saving options. So from here we're able to save content either locally on the board or save it to a USB stick which you could plug into the front USB port down here. And this content can be saved in a PNG or a PDF format. Alternatively, other ways you can share um, drawings and things you've worked on is via the QR code. So if I was to draw content, pull up this QR code option, I can actually point the camera of my phone or my iPad at that QR code and it'll pull across a copy of what I've drawn to my device to then either email or send on from there. Finally, the whiteboard has the ability to save locally a, a editable version of your content. So you can draw something up, you can save that, and then you can recall it later on to continue working on it uh, after you've you know, finished with it. So that's the whiteboard application um, just briefly, just going over some of the um, options there. The next thing I'll go over is the overlay whiteboarding. So overlay whiteboarding is similar to whiteboarding in that you can whiteboard but it's on top of content that's on the screen. For example, right now I'm on the Android home screen of the Z-Touch and I can pull up that overlay whiteboarding option on screen which brings a menu across the bottom of the screen very similar to the whiteboarding application. From here I can annotate on screen, you know, I can scribble on it and draw over it and you can do this over any input. So if you had a laptop connected or you're in a web browser or something like that, you can definitely do this on top of that content. One of the main features with the overlay whiteboarding which is useful is being able to screen capture something and then pull that into the whiteboarding application. So for example, I can choose the screen capture option. I get this little box that I can move around on screen. For example sake right now, I'll just select the Z-Touch logo like that and I can press the little tick and what this will do is actually take that screenshot and drop it into the whiteboard for me. So now I've got my content here I can work with. And I can you know, rotate this, I can resize this by pinching it. Once I've got it where I want it to be, I can drop it and I can continue drawing around the outside of that to you know, do my presentation or my, my whiteboarding. So just jumping out of the whiteboard again and going back to the home screen. I'm just going to talk about the home screen for a second here. So the home screen, the layout you see right now is the one we include out of the box. This is with the apps that we believe are the most useful um, to have on your desktop. However, this is customizable. Um, you can change this around however you like. So for example, I can actually move these apps around. I can of course change my background wallpaper as well. So you can have your company logo there or your business logo there. And I also am able to pull applications from the app folder, for example, out and drop them onto the home screen if I want like that. So I've just dropped a, an application there. Installing applications can be either done via a USB stick loading them straight on, so any Android compatible app will work. 
Alternatively, we have an MDM which will be available shortly, which will allow you to manage your applications installed remotely. So this will include pushing and pulling applications as well as remote support as well to the boards. Moving along from, the, from that, next along we have the files application. The files application is basically just a file explorer where you go to access a USB stick if you plug one into the front down here. So you can access presentations, videos, images and stuff like that from your USB stick. Next along is the Chrome browser. Um, this is a pretty standard Chrome browser, so there's probably not a lot to say about it that you probably don't already know about uh, Chrome, but it is there for you to use. Um, it's got all the standard features that Chrome would normally have, such as all your tabs and your bookmarks and stuff like that. Moving back to the home screen, the final application on the home screen here is the eShare uh, Pro mirroring app. The eShare application is the, gives you the ability to wirelessly share content to the board. So this can be from a Windows environment, from a Mac, from iOS, so that's iPhone, iPad, and also Android as well. The eShare app is free, there's no licensing at all, no ongoing costs at all that are required to use this application. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump over to the screen of my laptop and I'm going to share that there and then show you how this eShare application actually functions. So I'm just going to get this ready to go and you can see that on the screen now. So the eShare application, when I open it up, I've got the option here to connect to the Z-Touch, as you can see right now in the list. If I press on the connect button there, and I've, I've then got two options to pick from basically. One of those options is to share screen, which will allow me to copy the screen of my laptop up onto the Z-Touch, which I'm going to demonstrate in a moment. The second option, which I won't demo today, but can show you another time if you like, is the ability to mirror the Z-Touch screen back to your device, which can be used for a whole host of different reasons. So I'm going to share the screen now. And as you can see, the Z-Touch behind me now has the same thing that my laptop has got on the screen there as well. So what I can do from here is not only share the screen, but I can also control it. So now I can touch the Z-Touch screen and I have full control of my computer wirelessly um, from the, from the Z-Touch itself. So this is great for doing presentations. Um, if you want to do any annotation something inside of an application that supports that, you can do that from the Z-Touch because that touch support is fully um, bi-directional. What I'm going to do now as well is just show you that in the eShare app there is a pause option. So this allows us to essentially pause content on the screen. So you can lock an image up on the screen while you're sharing and then have access to your computer to do something else in the meantime while that content is on the screen. I'm just going to pull down the eShare now and just show you a couple of the features of the eShare app on the actual board itself directly. So if I open up the eShare application here, I'm landing on this screen here which just shows me the name of the board and the IP address. But down in the settings here I have a few options to pick from which help to change the experience of when you're sharing to the board. Firstly, I can turn on a passcode. So having a passcode of course is going to secure this wireless connection so that when you're uh, sharing your device you have to put in a six digit code in order to, do, to, to share essentially. So right now I've got that little sharing code above the screen here just floating around and that will float on top of any input. So whether you're on the Android module, whether you're using an eShare, whether you're using a different HDMI source, that little guy will float on screen and will be available to see the code there. In addition to that as well, the eShare application allows us to share multiple screens at once. So if I had multiple devices, say two, three, four laptops even, I can actually share all those laptops to the screen at once and they will be tiled on each corner all of them, if they're compatible, will have touch, compa uh, touch back turned on as well as the ability to pull sound from either of those devices as well through to the board. Talking about sound, the board has two indoor speakers in the back which are quite loud. Um, there's an on-screen, oh, sorry, on-front panel volume control down the bottom here as well as being able to do that from on-screen as well up here on-screen. That concludes a very, very brief run through of the Z-Touch and some of the features that are included. If you'd like a more in-depth demo, please contact us and we can do so. But for now, I'll hand back over to Chad. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Jackson. Um, hopefully that gave everyone a really good understanding of, I guess, how we've brought the product to market, where we think the strengths are. 
again, Jackson mentioned it, we're more than happy to do these one-on-one. -on -one. We've been running them throughout, I guess, the COVID situation, so we can run them at fairly short notice. More than happy, just reach out, our, e our email, sorry, av at compnow.com.au, send through any requests. We can do these nationally, so any questions, any queries to come out of the back of today's demonstration, as well as around any other technology, please feel free to reach out. Thank you, everyone, for your time, and, yeah, we'll call it quits. Thank you. Bye.